Now, an emeritus news brief, I'm Lynn Houston. It is President-elect Obama, and the Democrats pick up more seats in the Senate and the House. Obama emerged in a somewhat somber tone to a cheering crowd in Chicago. This is our chance to answer that call. This is our moment. This is our time to put our people back to work and open doors of opportunity for our kids to restore prosperity and promote the cause of peace, to reclaim the American dream and reaffirm that fundamental truth that out of many we are one, that while we breathe we hope, and where we are met with cynicism and doubt and those who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Republican candidate Senator John McCain was graceful in his concession speech. I wish Godspeed to the man who was my former opponent and will be my president. And I call on all Americans, as I have often in this campaign, to not despair of our present difficulties, but to believe always in the promise and greatness of America. Because nothing is inevitable here. Americans never quit. We never surrender. We never hide from history. We make history. Thank you and God bless you and God bless America. Thank you all very much. Exit polling showed the economy was far and away the top issue among both Democrats and Republicans. The polling also indicated that voters aged 50 to 70 were almost evenly split between McCain and Obama. But Obama scored 67% of the vote among those aged 18 to 35. He also received 72% of new voters. Some of the other news on Tuesday that you may not have been aware of, a very shocking figure on the number of bankruptcies. The American Bankruptcy Institute says more than 100,000 Americans filed bankruptcy in October. That's the first time bankruptcies have topped 100,000 since the rewrite of the bankruptcy laws back in 2005. The final number of 106,266 October bankruptcy filings also represented a 20% increase over September. And the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission announced a settlement in a lawsuit against a cell phone company on Long Island, New York. The company was accused of paying Hispanic workers less and firing anyone who complained about it. First Wireless agreed to pay $435,000 and make changes to protect workers against future discrimination. Wednesday night, a look at how the election will impact various issues from Social Security to employment. Emeritus News, the latest on big issues and public policy at EmeritusNews.com. That's an Emeritus News Brief. I'm Lynn Houston.